Peace. This is a meat and potato sorcery production starring myself, the Water Alchemist. And today's topic for the occult family is what do spirits respect? Well, spirits respect discipline, consistency, and they also respect commitment. And the fourth is very important, independence. Those are the things that they respect because you have to understand something. Magic can be a powerful weapon. And the mistake that I see too many occult neophytes making is that they start out with a bang and be passionate about it. And then after a couple of weeks or a couple of months, they get bored and then they, they put it down. Let your mentor say this to you. Magic and the spirits in particular. The spirits are not a PlayStation or Xbox. You can't just pick them up, play with them for a little bit, and then put the off switch on, pause it, and then go do something else. It doesn't work like that. Spirits want to see that you're committed and you're consistent to this path because it is a journey. And when they see that you are committed and you're consistent, with your magic, whether sometimes you succeed, sometimes you have setbacks. When they see that, what this does is it makes it easier for you to channel and to summon them. Also, every spirit, as I said before, some spirits, if your third eye really isn't all the way open where you can pick up on energy real well, what ends up happening it's not that the spirit will ignore you the only way they'll ignore you if you've done something to offend them but even then spirits understand human psychology so if you do something to offend any spirit you can always apologize give an offering and usually most of them are pretty forgiving for the most part also do not listen to your mentor do not offer blood to a spirit that you don't plan on working with constantly. Because basically what you've unknowingly done is that you've made a pact. So that spirit will always be with you. Now, have I ever used blood before? Yes, I've just only used a drop of blood. And I can say this, is that that particular deity has been with me so you don't use blood unless you plan on working with a particular entity full time because they'll always be there for you and also I want to say that when you are doing this work the whole thing that spirits will look at is that they want to help you and aid you but they also want you to have the ability to solve your own problems. You call them in as backup or where you need them for wisdom. Like if you need them for wisdom or advice, they'll work with you the best way you can. Let's say that you're really into computers. So they'll say, I'm thinking about this and then you'll see a video or you'll walk in the store. Whatever you're really good at doing, they'll have a way to get your attention. But they still expect you to be a problem solver when it comes to your earthly existence. They really expect that. And you have to be disciplined. You have to be disciplined because is diet important when you are doing this work? It is important because if you eat the wrong foods, then you become lackadaisical you're unfocused and if you have too many habits you're spending more on the habit and if you do get a book or two or crystal there it's just it's decorations it's decor so they looking at that and you have to have some discipline when it comes to what you eat and what you're doing because it will play a pivotal role in your practice so these are the things that spirits angels demons angels a little bit they're more tolerant demons gods and goddesses 
they understand humans, but they want to see a consistent pattern. Is no matter what, win, lose, or draw, life is magic, and magic is life. So with that, that is your meat and potato sorcery for the day. I am the water alchemist. You water, my friend. Peace.